Hello, Legion. This is Hadrian. Thank you for being here. Let's play some more Civilization VI. In our Alexander series, we have just conquered Poland, and it feels so good. And it was actually a kind of protracted war. We're going to take a moment, lick our wounds, let these cities build up, fix some housing and amenity issues that we're seeing across the empire, which is vast at this point. And then we're going to turn our attention towards Congo and some of the other powers nearby. So let's go ahead and buy the water mill with some faith here. Also, the granary with some faith. Can I purchase anything, anything else with faith? No, not quite, but we'll go ahead and build the monument there now. And yeah, we're just going to keep a lot of our units in position for now. We can start building cores as well. We have that option. So I might do that to a certain extent, but let's see. This trader... Let's, let's move you. I want to move you all the way up to Tarnuf, our new city. Okay, so yeah, we, we have, we don't, these are not war weariness problems. Yeah, I am an evil uh, upon this world, and then you're going to die as a result of it. Um, sorry, <laughs> that was kind of sinister, but these are not a result of war weariness. But oddly enough, huh. Cities do not incur war weariness. All military units heal completely when this player captures a city. Okay. Let's talk in the comments, guys. My understanding of Alexander's bonus there that I was just looking at has just changed, because you saw what just happened. The war is over, and now a lot of penalties just went away. So maybe Alexander is affected by war weariness in a different way. Maybe he gets war weariness from losing units. But cities don't incur it. So as long as the units don't die, you're okay. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. Alright, let's go for another Bombard. We definitely do need to improve that area of our situation. Uh, let's go for an Armory here. As much production as possible. Speaking of production, let's build that mine. Yeah, I'm going to do a lot of Empire building probably for this episode. Just a whole lot of maintenance. Because we need it. And I'm also going to start positioning myself to <laughs> to fight Congo. Alright, this trader needs to trade with... Oh no, I don't need to move. Let's trade with... Um... Yeah, it's one of our new cities. Let's do that. Uh, this siege tower can just go to sleep. I don't need it doing anything. Yeah, I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and make this a core unit. So this is now a Musketman core. And let's go to the next turn. Turn 384. We do have to build some entertainment districts as soon as possible. We've got um, armories building here. Can I perhaps improve production speed on some of this stuff? Not by much. Yeah, just one turn. What about Krakow? Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. That'll be done faster. What about Poznan? Poznan's already on. Poznan's building the Great Lighthouse of Alexander. <laughs> right? It's a monument to our conquest. We've got a lot of good stuff going on down here that's going to help us economic economically. We also have this bank in Alexandria. That is also going to be a big help. Let's go ahead and improve that niter. We've got lots of niter as a civilization. That has never been an issue. Napoleon's helping out with our conquests. You just need to sleep. And we'll go to the next turn. Wait. But yeah, Bombard's still moving down. That's fine. So yeah, lots of builders. Lots of economic buildings over the next couple turns. We're also building uh, Patala Palace and Pella, which will give us an additional diplomatic policy. If we complete it, that is. Let's go for the Archaeological Museum in Aigai, so that we can be ready to start collecting um, cultural artifacts. And yeah, let's go for the shipyard in Alexandria by the Latmus. Uh, if I go for production, how much sooner will we be done? Not much sooner. Yeah, Alexandria by the Latmus desperately needs more production. So we're going to improve that wood and maybe as well, we're going to improve that hill, but then definitely 
get some farms going because that city is just is, is pretty bare bones at the moment. We haven't built that many holy sites in a while, and we do need them. Let's go ahead and put a holy site here on this desert tile, since it's not going to take away from any other tiles. It's going to take a while for that to build, but it's okay. Notice now that we have roads, it's easier for builders to just move around and build the things they need to in one turn, which I always like to see that happen in a game. John Kirk, there you are! I speak for the people of Australia as their Prime Minister. We seek sympathetic allies in the fight against the Hawks of War. <laughs> okay, we have finally met Mr. John Curtin. We have sampled... We've let him sample our nearby city. Yeah, well, chill out. You're... You're snooty. And you annoy me. Um, <laughs> another great person. Ooh, great merchant. Adam Smith, plus one economic policy slot in any government. Yes, please. That could not have come at a better time. Let's go for an archaeological museum in Alexandria. Let's go for... Let's go for the bank here. We want to have a really nice gold income soon. I want to be able to just buy everything I need. Let's go for another settler here. And start building up stuff in the region. Perfect. All right, you just come here and... Boom. Boom. Give me that economic policy. Amazing. So now we're going to have additional money. So it was the... We had free market before, but we used it to replace the campus district adjacency. Or not campus, but uh, commercial hub district adjacency. So we were using town charters before, and it was quite nice. So, well, what happened to our income? What's going on there? There we go. Okay. I don't know why that did that. That was weird. Alright, in comes back to being awesome. We've had a really great economy for several episodes now, so I just... I don't want to see that ruined. Okay, good. Cultural center's done here. Why don't we go ahead and go for the, the amphitheater? We do need to get a, a, we need to build a settler too, though. I keep forgetting we need to have a settler in that region so that barbarians are not as prone. All right, go down there and build that lumber mill soon so that that city can build a little bit faster. But yeah, as soon as, maybe Pella is going to be our first choice. Yeah, it is going to be our first choice in the area. Uh, you know what? No, I don't want anything to do with you. Can I just put a block? Can I, can I block Victoria? Is there a block button? <laughs> if facts don't fit I'm, the theory, I'm kidding. I know there's change not. the facts. Okay, so we can now do research agreements. We get plus one food from plantations, which is nice for my cities in the jungle because of bananas. And then we have Oxford University, the option to build Oxford University. Go for ballistics so we can uh, so we can improve our uh, crossbowmen. Takes away what sucks about that improvement is that it takes away one unit of range or one one tile of range. It's a shame, but that's what it is. Yeah, go ahead and trade with Valletta. Let's have a road. Oh, there's there are there is already a road there. Huh. Okay. Never mind. I mean, that's still a good trade route. But all right. Why don't you? Why don't you move to Poznan so you can help with the production over there? Yeah, let's get that stone improved as well. So yeah, we are just in pure economic boost mode at the moment. Need to have an entertainment district probably here somewhere. So I need to build one of those pretty soon. Dion, you need... Oh, actually, you know what? We can go and have our settler training up now. It's going to take 14 turns. But then we'll send them over here. He's got roads to travel along, so it won't even take that long. And then let's have you trade with Bradford. England's old city of Bradford. I guess I need to move this unit further up, don't I? Check out how far Alexandria Troas is now from our northern borders. This has become an interior city, aside from the fact that it's so close to the coast at this point. 
All right, we have new envoys. Let's go ahead and continue moving towards... Actually, no. Let's let's put them both towards Nan Madal so we can work on taking that away from... What's-his-face? We are getting all their bonuses now, so we get additional culture from our theater districts, but when we become suzerain, we get additional culture from districts on or next to coast. I wonder how much the AI is taking advantage of that. Just curious. Oh, next turn. <laughs> I thought I thought the turn counter was ticking. I thought the turn was was going, but it was it was just sitting there. We're almost to turn 400. It's 332 AD, but technologically speaking, we're we're far beyond 332. The um that mod that I mentioned has been Oh, Jadviga's Oh, of course. <laughs> Jadviga, number 1 I mispronounced, number 2 I just defeated her. Of course. Of course she's been defeated. But Cleopatra's also been defeated. You found that out. Very soon, Congo, you shall be mine. But not before I fix my other cities. Okay, speaking of that, entertainment complex up here would be ideal. Should probably build it right here, so let's do that. Uh, no. Sorry, John. I've got a pretty self-sufficient empire at this point. Trading is not going to be as useful to me going forward. Alright, Radom is almost done with their armory, so is Wrocław, which is good. Krakow is almost done with their encampment, which I think is a repair. The first time I nice. stepped onto the rooftop of the Portella Palace, I felt as never before or since, as if I was stepping onto the rooftop of my being, onto some dimension of consciousness that I'd never visited before. Nice. All right, so this is an extra diplomatic policy slot in Pella. Well, not in Pella, but just for our for our civilization in general. Yeah, go ahead and build your bank. Go ahead. See, what's what's going on with my income? I guess no, I guess I just have some trade routes I need to renew. That's got to be what it is. All right, let's do an archaeological museum there. Fill policy slot. Yeah, let's see. Spy operas Spy operations take 25% less time or extra influence points toward, toward earning city-state envoys. Let's go ahead and go for charismatic leader. That's what I want more than anything, to tell you the truth. Just the ability to have even more influence over these city-states and be able to wrest city-states from the hands of other places. Yeah, our income is back. It's fine. A modern government comes with a lot of bureaucracy. Developing ways to efficiently track data will be a huge help. Very good. It's one thing to surmise what happened, but we don't speculate on that until ballistics confirms what happened? Ballet projects a fragile kind of strength. Nice, we just finished two things at once. Flexible precision. Okay, so no real need to change our policies, but we can keep moving down the line here. Let's go for siege tactics. Or should we go... No, let's actually go for square rigging, because we're going to get a production boost from this soon. I mean, we get a production boost, don't get me wrong, from the military academy. Well, we actually get similar production boost from either, but having the Ruhr Valley option as a wonder could be useful. We can go for that. All right, let's go for colonialism so we get the two extra envoys as soon as possible. Civil engineering is tempting for reasons that we've discussed, but we'll go for that when we're actually about to be at war. Archaeological Museum, again, really, really focused on making sure we can build up culturally in that way. Oh, yeah. All right. Entertainment complex is going to be needed down here. Where's the best spot for it, though? I probably should put it... Yep, let's put it right here. That way it can help these three cities. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, okay. We have a couple more envoys. Let's go ahead and keep working towards taking away non Madal from Congo. That's going to That's just going to be so satisfying when I take that from him. We're actually making a good amount of faith per turn, which will help us build things as needed, especially in our newer cities. Let's have a quick look at how much we could do with that. Uh, the monument is already pretty much done. 
Yeah, I've actually already built most things. Let's go ahead and go for the ancient walls in these border cities. That's probably useful. Medieval walls here. Yeah, let's do that. Just in case these places come under attack from our good friend next door prior to us being ready. Yeah, we're three turns away from the monument being done in Plutsk, so it, there's, there's no point replacing that project with something else. Okay, now I also think an entertainment district would be in order here, so why don't we go ahead and plan on that? Yeah, if I put one there, it'll help every... Oh, no, 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 not no. I wanted to say yes. That'll help a lot if we build it there. And then fine... Finally, rather, Rotswav needs... Let's keep working on a builder. Again, economic development as much as possible, building up tiles. And we're three turns away from the encampment being repaired. Krakow still has a lot to repair, though, I think. I'm pretty sure there's more than just that that needs to be repaired. This lighthouse nice. is the sign assure of all eyes. So now the great lighthouse of Alexandria exists, which is appropriate. It's not in Alexandria, that would be even better. What if you get an achievement for building it in Alexandria? You should. But only if the game named the city Alexandria. You can't just rename the city and then get the achievement. Because <laughs> that's what people would do. All right, let's go for a shipyard there. For the extra production. Meanwhile, let's go ahead and improve that iron. Absolutely. We have a ridiculous amount of gold income. And it's going to keep getting higher and higher. Alexandria and Ericosia is almost done with their aqueduct. All right, let's go ahead and just buy that library outright. And then work on building the university. So our campus district in Bradford is done. So that's really going to help us in the tech game. And then Candy, you could use that workshop, but even more so. Hang on, where's your nearest? Okay, your entertainment district is there. Yeah, just do a workshop. Now, eventually, these bonuses, I think... Hang on. Can't tell by looking at it. Now that I've selected it, it doesn't show me what the bon benefits are. Plus two production. So we're not quite at the point yet where we're getting buildings that are producing... That are helping production in neighboring cities. But pretty soon we will. I think that's actually... Yeah, bonuses extended to all cities within six tiles. All right, this musketman just needs to hang out, go to the next turn. I want to see these amenity issues go away, and we're going to need to use entertainment centers for that. All right, Krakow is done. Yeah, their theater square is still messed up. Man, that sucks. All right, let's go ahead and buy the armory here. That's instant production. And then repair the theater square... And it's going to take 36 more turns. God, that really sucks. All right, entertainment complex is already being built there. Why don't I work towards an encampment in this area then? And let's put it right on that border. So we can use it to reinforce our initial assault on that area. You go over there and improve that tile. Trader. Let's put you up here. Actually, yeah, let's put you in Krakow so that you can get some production bonus and help with that, because that's taking forever in a day. And then again, so are the things up here. A lot of these projects are just taking a long time. Probably go to war with, uh, with Congo pretty soon. Nice. Additional trade route available. Yep, let's build that lighthouse. Just trade with, um, trade with, no, 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 no. I need to give you production. That was the entire point. So Pella, get you that plus four. Does that help? Eh, not really. It's a little bit of a boost, but not much. Bradford's going to have a rebellion soon if I'm not careful. God, look at all these encampments. If anyone ever comes into this region, they're dead. If any invading units ever enter this area, <laughs> they're just gone. Three turns away from the bank in Pella. 
We have several archaeological museums about to finish. Our aqueduct there is, is about to finish. Made there it is. Approaches anything in nature. Nice. Sorry, Sean Bean. I'm gonna have to start interrupting you a little bit more. I tried, tried not to for a long time, but just got to a point where I was ready to, ready to do other things. All right, let's go ahead and move this settler to Liverpool, and then this settler's gonna found a new city there. Yeah, new trader. If there's nothing else useful, it can be built there. All right, Alexandra and Ericosia can finally build other things. Why don't we go ahead and go for... Yeah, let's go for that industrial zone. So that you can build things faster. This is going to be... Now that they have fresh water, the city's actually not growing. We would benefit from having a builder in this area. Can't buy a builder with faith, which sucks. But we'll have, we'll have enough money for a builder pretty soon, and then we can improve some of these tiles, and then the city will grow a bit more naturally. But for now, we've got it on food focus, so it's going to grow slowly. Actually, yeah, let's put this trader in there, and that'll help you grow. That'll be perfect. I can do a high food trade route, and that situation will be resolved. Colonialism. The enforced spread of the rule of reason. But who is going to spread it among the colonizers? <laughs> okay, so now we have access to... No, I don't want that policy. The Raj diplomatic policy. It was tempting, but... All right, let's go ahead and go for um, natural history because it'll give us the Hermitage as well as the zoo, which helps us with the... that. That's actually an amenity bonus that will extend to other cities, so that'll start helping us with our problem. Plus, we get the archaeologist... So that's just a win in a number of ways. We're going to keep moving towards taking away Nan Madal from Congo. We're right on him now. Okay, now we need as much food as possible for here. So Bradford looks like our city of choice, but let's make sure that's the best. Krakow is pretty good too. It's actually an identical route. Yeah, trade with Krakow. That's fine. All right, you just need to counter spy. We're going to have you counter spy in the exact same spot as before. Let's put you in the industrial district. And next turn, the bank should be done. This is so satisfying to see this empire sprawling like it is. We have a settler on the way over to settle this area as well. And yeah, let's go from the evil wall there. And then an additional spy might be good. Let's go ahead and go for that in Pella. Yeah, now that we have... Let's take another look at Taoism. Now that most of our cities are Taoist because of Persia, let's have a look at the religions. Where are you? There you are. Or Taoist, rather. Let's So we can build lots. So shrines and temples provide food equal their intrinsic faith output. Nice. Church property plus two gold for each city following this religion. Not bad. Now, I don't know that we're getting that because... Or are we? Because we conquered the holy city, so we should be getting those bonuses now, right? No, we're not. We're not. We should. We totally should now that we conquer the city. But anyway. And then Defender of the Faith. And then our Pantheon is Sacred Path. Holy Site District gets plus one faith from adjacent tiles. My Pantheon is military units, ancient and classical. So that's no longer... No, no longer applies to us. All right, Wrocław, what do you need? You can't really build anything else yet, so just keep working on builders. All right, this trader. Yeah, trade with Nanmadal. Let's go up there and improve those pastures. I'm starting to see some of the... Um, amenity indicators going away, which is nice. Looks like there's some sugar up there that I need to improve. Your progress towards natural history has advanced considerably perfect, because we're working on that. Yep, let's just start cranking out builders. Lots and lots and lots of builders. We're going to improve so many tiles. For the next couple of turns, any city that comes available with a production project, builder. Do I have any sugar right now? 
Oh, damn, I already have sugar. Okay, well, it won't help to improve that. I mean, it will, but it, it won't. Do I have salt? No, I do not. So that is an additional luxury that I can arrange. Let's go ahead and purchase that tile. Okay, I guy's done with their business. Yep, builder. Just gonna keep doing this. Yep, builder. Lots and lots of builders. Um, now, where do I need production more than anything? Am I building a wonder anywhere that needs production? I, I don't think so. Am I building anything else that needs production? Yes, actually, hang on. Up here, yeah. Let's go ahead and put you in Plotsk. This bombard, I'm going to move you up to be on the border with Congo. And then I think I have a builder that just came out somewhere near here, and I'm going to move them up and improve that salt as soon as possible. All right, this trader... Ah, yeah, I just trade with Valletta. A little bit of extra production for you. Yeah, this builder... You know what? Yeah, you need to be the one to go up and improve that salt. Perfect. All right, now let's get you as much production as possible. So maybe... Yeah, Pella. Trade with the capital. Now that one... Adding that one luxury resource is not going to fix all of my amenity problems, but it'll help to a certain extent. Candy and Bradford. I hope you agree. Um, sorry, we just can't commit to a friendship at this time, buddy. Sorry. I'm going to conquer you before long, so you're just going to have to deal with that. The key words of violent economics nice. are urbanization. Industrialization, centralization, efficiency, quantity, speed. So, plus one production to mine improvements. Every mine I have just became more productive. Not quarries, mines. So, not things like stone, but iron mines, copper mines, coal mines. All of them just became more productive for all of my cities. Plus, I can now build Ruhr Valley, and I can build factories, which extend around industrial zones. So this industrial zone, for instance, will now give benefits to Dion and to Alexandria as well. Maybe even one, two, three. Is that? Hang on. One, two, three, four. Five. Yeah, nice. So it'll help Bedgush as well. Very nice, very nice. I would actually tell you what. I would like to start building that right now. I, I want that even more than a spy, being completely honest. All right, let's work towards economics. If we can get Big Ben before anyone else, that would also be great. Um, yep, factory. So that will help with Wrocław, Radom, and... And... Nice, okay. This is this is really, really good. Yeah, this industrial center is one, two, three, four, five. Okay, it won't quite help Krakow, unfortunately. But it'll help these other cities in the area. Finally starting to get some adjacency bonus or some uh, tile range bonuses. No, don't... How are you making demands of me, Britain? How are you making... Like, how is that a smart decision on the AI's part? When you see an empire this big, you're going to make demands? Okay. All right, so this industrial zone is where? Here. So that will that help with one, two, three? Yeah, it'll help with Amphipolis. So let's go ahead and build that. That's not going to help yet, because that's just the workshop, but the factory will help. Candy, where is your industrial zone? Here, right? So you're going to help all these cities. Wow, holy crap. Yep, work on that. Okay, Alexandria and Aria could probably use an entertainment complex just to make sure that things stay on the up and up in this area. I've got one here, so that's already helping with these two cities, but I don't really have one in between here. So let's do that. Did I already build one? Did I forget? Okay, get Good, good, good. And that's still in range of Dion, so that'll help that city too. Alright, so this settler is ready. Tell you what, let's pair you guys up. Upgrade you to a field cannon. Pair you guys up, and then next turn, we'll send you out to colonize right. I think I want right there. Let's go to the next turn. 
And also, we are 30 minutes into this episode. I've just been having too much fun getting everything stabilized. I mean, we still have a lot of amenity issue issues. It, it's going to be a while before these are completely gone. And maybe I'm not going to wait the entire time, but I just, before I, I go to war... at the creation, I would have given some useful hints for the better ordering of the universe. <laughs> so, now we have access to archaeologists and antiquity sites. So... Yeah, and I see a lot of them around, too. So we've got a lot of digging to do now. That's going to help with our culture. Um, things are just going to be amazing. But now the challenge becomes, remember, I left every victory type on. So we have to make sure we keep other empires down. Um, we may even, in the course of conquering you know, the world and having a really strong culture, we may even get an accidental culture victory after we conquer the Congo. Because right now, Congo is leading. But... Uh, we're gonna we're gonna be beating him before long. I'm <laughs> just saying. So, anyway, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this one, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to follow along. Comments are always welcome. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time.